Hello guys, I'm Thingamajig and welcome to episode 27 of Leech Knight's career mode, Side Before Self. As always, we have two games for you in this broadcast. And it starts with Tottenham Hotspurs at home at the East Point, that's in the Premier League. And then to finish off, it's the semi-final of the Emirates FA Cup, that's against Newcastle United and that'll be at Wembley. So a couple of proper tough games here um, there is well, we've played 31 games you play 38 games and I've won the league I can't really believe it that I've won the game, league 7 games early I'm slightly more annoyed that I got knocked out of the Champions Cup now but it will give me a bit of a chance to play some of the recent routine graduates. Right, let's do some training. It's just a shame it's last season as Leeds manager. Well, this Leeds team anyway. Jacob's come up as well. Zeebs! Good afternoon, buddy. How goes it? Hope you are well. It's a shame that this journey is going to be coming to an end shortly. Gonna reset my chat, but I can still follow it. Leeds are losing at half time. Mr. B. Elsa's Leeds United, that is. Yeah, 2-0 to Birmingham. I said at the beginning of the week, Birmingham wasn't going to be an easy game. They've been unlucky in recent weeks. They've played really, really well, but just not been able to get the results. It's half time at the Leeds game now. Uh, Southampton are getting it as well, are they? I can hear me. I can hear me. Um, Headphone wire trailing on my zip through my headphone, it's getting quite annoying. Right, so we're playing Spurs. I'm 23 points clear with seven games remaining. I have already won the league, so I can make some changes. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, if he can rub it in, he'll, he'll inform you. Right, so you're going in first team. <laughs> I 
It won't rub it in. Right, okay. I believe you where thousands wouldn't. I'm willing to make some changes, but baby steps. <laughs> They'll have a couple of my former players playing for them, I think. Oh, Malcolm, I think he might be injured. There's Issa, I've arranged for him to come home. Can't remember if there's anybody else. Sometimes I get mixed up between. Well, the main story here is we are going to see in action the top scorer in the league. And it's live. Oh, it's live, is it? Well, why don't you... Hi there, Premier League game for you today, I'm Martin no Tyler, and to call the action alongside me, Alan Smith. And the game today, Leeds United against Tottenham. I hope you're right, Zeebs, I hope you're right. And I hope my little youth team graduate scores again. Leeds United. They're playing well at the moment. They certainly played well last time out in their home victory against Watford. Yeah, impressive, that 3-1 win. And uh, I think that's going to be enough to carry them through here with another win. <laughs> referee for today's game is Craig Paulson. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Spurs have started the first half. Check for you on the Leeds United it lineup. Doesn't look like Malcolm's playing. This is today's top and shoots, and the save is made by the goalkeeper. Is it Mbappe? Penalty. He's given it penalty. Oh, I think he's got it spot on to definite foul. Well, sometimes you get the benefit of a doubt early in the game. Maybe not as much as happened uh, years and years ago but there's no messing about from the referee here he's seen something he doesn't like yellow card early in the game yeah i think the nature of the challenge didn't give the ref too much chuck no way oh that's a really important stop brilliant and that's a corner for leeds united and they get it away cleared away by the defender Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Well, they could pose some danger now. Excellent work with the tackle. I don't get my keepers to take penalties. Mbappe. Oh, come on, Rose. Oh, it's not Rose. Oh, no, it was Fontana. First goal coming so early, but not quite. Uh, he's kicking himself. I just don't get my keepers to take penalties. From so close in too. Fabinho. Normally get the best player to take penalties unless it's somebody well, I'm trying to get to score, like I'm trying to get that really, team graduate to score then. The league title has been decided. The match will be played. But the big event of the day, Alan's going to be the presentation. I've yeah, already exactly. been presented, it was presented so sorry, with the title. The top of the table. We might not quite see the intensity of the probing the pass. 
can pull it back here to set up a chance. Gone for placement, and his bearings wrong. I just don't have goalkeepers taking penalties. Managers like players get called up by uh, international yeah, setups. Terrible. And of course, national teams need coaches. Could he be uh, a manager at an international level? Well, I think he does deserve a chance. I think tactically, he's proven himself to be quite astute, uh, which is always fairly important at international level. Um, he knows about players. He's a good man manager. Shit. Here's the shot. Well, let's have another look at that because it was a very, very tight call. They were in otherwise. When I saw it first time of asking, I thought he was. I didn't see that first thing where you put let the keeper take it, please, man. I still wouldn't have done it anyway, but. No, um, I don't know. He scores regular, right. but I think there's the other the goal, better strikers the in the, the Premier League that are English before him. Day, that might have rebounded back into play, but not this time. Marcus Rashford for the start. Showing his frustrations, the manager. I'm sure he'd love to be out there playing himself, but he can't, and his team are losing now. Leeds United with the lead. Fabinho. And he gives it back to him. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. I got Wolf score another seven. And then score another 26 in the second half. Well to in. tackle here and he's done that. Oh, saw the look poo. the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Fabinho. Here's a chance to attack. Good work, really, to read the shit. The pass. It has to be very quick. Looking to make an opportunity either. No fucking way. He went down like somebody that got paid. Genuine attempt to go for the ball. Oh, that is a clumsy tackle. Fuck off. No question it was a foul. And scores from the spot. I don't know anyone more confident that. about taking penalties than him. Yeah, the way he walked up to it, you could just see he was going to score. So confident. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. And Sims on the attack here. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. That's good movement forward here. Owens, whatever he's called, hasn't Stopped quite got the ball playing skills, well. which is obvious because he's very encouraging. only 63 overall rated, but... Fabinho. Gabriel. Opportunity here. He's gone again. Let's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Well, he has cleared the danger. There's some potential in this move. Spurs get the referee's advantage. Mbappe. Mbappe! Oh, bollocks! Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Gabriel. 
giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. It could be a chance. It's a goal, and they're in front with that goal. Two for him on the day, and two very well taken goals. And it's Leeds United trying to get back into the game. Play on, says the referee. Did well, stuck out a foot. I'm sorry, Owens. I know I've already won the league, but... Looking to play their way through now. And Sims. We've got to clear it now. Gets his foot in there. What? The fuck was that for? It's a yellow card, Alan, and it is a penalty. Your thoughts? Well, I thought it was a definite penalty. You go to your Twitch dashboard, and there's a, a segment that says where you can set up for hosting people. I don't know why they've got a penalty there. That's justice. And that's really unforgivable. Oh my word! The run-up was a strange one, Martin. Guiding it through the defenders. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Well, this is half time. That's the whistle, and two-one is the score at this stage. It won't keep it that give the penalty away. It will McKeith. Right, I'm giving it a few more minutes. We Hughes or Owens, whatever is called out on pitch. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. The equaliser here. He must have bollard turnip shittings. The keeper had other ideas. Leeds get a corner. Well, here comes the corner. Oh, well, that's good defending. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Issa, you're the Leeds player. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Mbappe! Well, oh, my! Defenders to say, well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. Gabriel. Well, what a player. What a performance in that first half, Alan. On Offside. Top of it, this is how they love to play on the break. Trying to run off the shoulder of the last player. Offside. That is a weakness in his game. Gets it's on there, Zeebs. Too many times. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Go to settings then and try from there. Uh, cut out by the defender. Now, can he take them on? Steered through. Whipped in from the wide area. Very good distance to the clearance. Gabriel, on to the attack now. And now the goalkeeper. But can maybe think about starting an attack. First, get the referee's advantage. Fabinho. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Uh, 
Fabinho. Throw for Tottenham. Ref's gone back to deal with that earlier off. incident. Yellow card. He's one of my favourite refs. He doesn't miss much, this lad. Was that just a case of mistiming the tackle? I think he's a little unlucky. Slightly mistimed and his man's made the most of it. Ayala. They've gone wide. Chance to get the ball in the box. Going for goal! And the keeper can catch that one. No, no problem at all. Good interception. Trying to get the ball in behind. It should be. Hit the post. No fucking way. Prepared to just pass the ball around in their own half. Winning the game as the scoreline tells you. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Mbappe. Mbappe. Here's a chance, goalkeeper. No fucking way. And a big clearance. Out of danger and out of play in the end. All alone in the middle. And it's in by the post. Well, we see it again. How close it was to maybe hitting the post and staying out. But luck was with him. In it goes, it counts. And I think the goalkeeper thought he got his angles covered there, but uh, he didn't look too pleased when it rebounded in. The new Neymar. That's that youth team graduate that I brought back. Well, I wonder where we go from here now that we're level again in the game. Oh, Anything could happen. Now, Alessio Romagnoli. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Well, coming up for you very soon on EA Sports, the semi-final FA Cup fixture. It's Leeds United. Okay, Zeev, we'll see you in a bit. I'm stopping United. by, buddy. There's so much to play for. I wonder who can handle the nerves the best. And that's good support as they build this attack. Javinho, a return ball. Here's Ayala. Oh, it's Ooh. a long way away from the target. He was so close in. Oh, Lily, welcome to the broadcast. Uh, some stick off those supporters. Many thanks for stopping by and showing your support. It is greatly appreciated. Little headed pass then and a shrewd one. Room now out of the wing. The shot's up. It's in. Oh, could that be the decisive moment here? Very little time left. It's a wonderful time to score. They're absolutely name, uh... delighted. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Who else's leads can do something like this? Now, Alessio no, they've got the same quality of players, and I'm not the manager. But moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. United. Not really away from the threat here. Neatly intercepted. In comes the challenge. Piece of interplay between the two. It's noticeable. Lovely ball. He's through here. Slipping it through. Wonderful chance. No way. And this is going to I be should have throw. buried that. One of the backup brigade is going to have a chance centre stage. Good punch from the goalkeeper from the cross. 
be giving it straight to the opposition. Well, this could be a chance to make full use of these closing moments. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Only partially away from danger. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Striding forward purposefully. Great chance. Oh. What an opportunity to wrap up the match. Oh, yeah. That's what you need to be in these situations. Clinical. Have no mercy. They just didn't show it there. Ayala. That is a clever pass. And he might be in here. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. And now the shot! That's a good block. And that is quite a... And the referee has now called a halt. Sergeant Twitch! I think we thought... Welcome to the broadcast. Guess who's back? Those to be Backstreet Boys, didn't they do oh, that? Now get a real. Back, back, back again. again. Show with Backstreet Boys. Arsenal Tips Gaming three. Crew, Ready. welcome to the One. broadcast. Many Leeds thanks for stopping by three. and. Many thanks for the 20 bit cheer. Sheffield it is greatly appreciated. One. Liverpool, one. Southampton, one. Brighton and Hove Albion, You will now three. be on the Swansea City, world two. famous. Burnley, well, one. So, what do those results it's... mean to the league table? At the top of the table, I know about it anyway, and I think it's good. My wall of fame. Second, Arsenal with 63 points. I tell everybody it's world Liverpool famous. With 61 points. Actually, in fourth, you're Everton the first person I've said that to. But in fifth, Southampton with 57 points. In sixth, West Ham breath. United with 53 points. In seventh, Manchester City. I were. Um, poorly last week. Well, not so well. Yeah. Anyway, besides the point. Um, and I got to do a lot more going round and chatting to people and watching other people's streams than I normally do. And must admit, it were it were enjoyable. I'm a full time carer for my dad, and if I've got any spare time I live stream um, so with me being off of it I won't live stream while I were a couple of hours a day but the rest of the time I was just going around looking at other people's streams and it were it were like I say enjoyable the say take a a day off a week to go support other community members and I think it's actually quite a good idea I just need to start putting practice into it <laughs> and not just saying it I'm not doing bad at all, thank you, Tips. Um, as I say, I've been off it for a few weeks, but it's getting a lot better, thank you very much. How about yourself? Right, let's simulate them, let's see how the boys do. That's all bad. Now the thing is with Rose that's attacking midfielder. 
Is it only just got his just rewards by starting regular so I can't drop him. So I'm gonna bring Bagara on close to end. Still in a bit of a quandary with me. FIFA 19 content for YouTube. Past two FIFAs, it's been this Leeds United two games a day. See how far I can go until next FIFA comes out. But I think. Another one's going to be too much. I worked it out the other day. There's 300 videos going on to YouTube. It's just FIFA from me this year. Just leads, should I say. And I think I should be doing something else <coughs> on 19. Maybe even a couple of projects. Two projects. Well, two separate projects. I don't mean at the same time. But I just don't think it should be Leeds United again. Even though it wouldn't bother me. And I will still be doing a Leeds United stream. But I don't think it will be going onto YouTube. That's the quandary. What do I do <clears throat> onto YouTube? I was thinking about doing something like a six season challenge or something like that. Get a team out of League Two, six seasons. See how far you can take them and then get another team. See how far you can get them in six seasons. But with this Leeds United career that I've done, this is my 10th season in the Premier League. So I've done 11 seasons. That would only be possibly two. careers that I'd do in that challenge and it'd have to be six seasons in for in league two because you'd have to leave a, a season for you to cock up on so and then a season to qualify for Champions League and then a season to get into Champions League and then I thought what about getting a team out of Championship and doing it like that You could get team out of championship. Egypt's national team. I must admit, I'd be in denial. If I said I wanted to do that. Sorry if I just bored you with my YouTube quandary.
something like the Champions League challenge. Any teams in Premier League to win it in three seasons. Then it'd be a different It'd be a different team every three months because it takes about a month to do a season this way. Well, it is the fixture that they say is the worst one to lose. That's the FA Cup semi-final, of course, but everyone wants to win it. They'll go to Wembley if they do. Join us as we bring you all the action from Wembley, and it's live. So this is it, a big day, but not quite yet the day. Can they get through to the final, through this semi-final of the Emirates FA Cup? Well, it is the worst time I to could get do it. knocked out of this competition. I know that from experience. So both sets of players desperate to get to that final. Do you the know, today, Leeds United against Newcastle United. Um, up until when Battlefield 1 came out, that all I'd ever played. I'd done a couple of Colin McRae games on PS1 well, he could be but on the Xbox this game. the only games well, I'd ever played were FIFA pleaser, until Battlefield ball, 1 came out and then I started playing Battlefield happen. 1 so many and then I got Titanfall 2 and Call of Duty World War 2 and then some other ones in that Modern you, Warfare and other and whatnot. Battlefield 4 I've been getting Battlefield 5 <laughs> I was always into football managing games. Oh, soccer. You American then? Not. I hope that didn't sound like I thought it sounded. Newcastle United's lineup. It does look more like 4 4 1 1 than 4 4 2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of. Stiffening See, the only thing field. is with my YouTube, when they get the ball, Doobie, you know that is they only do two games a day to go on it, because I think Colton's going on that's too long. I could do a three-season challenge from Championship. A very good home victory in their last match against Tottenham There's no margin yeah, for error the then. They, You've got to get promoted in your first, finish your top four in your second, and then win it. The game is being controlled by Craig Pawson. These two teams have worked so hard to get to this FA Cup semi-final. Now all that preparation is going to be uh, tested as the action starts. But yeah, I can't wait for this one because two teams... The only thing with that is you don't ball. get no... Uh, you just hope they can reproduce that now when it matters. No continuity. Cut that out well, well read. If you go back to... Oh, Could be dangerous. Season two of this career and go back in behind the defense you'll see the goalkeeper in the eye Halkius anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene in with coming chance. through as a youngster reflected behind a clear corner extreme gaming welcome to the broadcast but that seems and in it goes Good work by the goalkeeper. Like it could be a good thing. Three season challenge. A championship challenge. Well, they're attacking here. Might be a chance for Newcastle. So many championship Here's teams you can get to win Champions Absolutely League. No trouble for the goalkeeper here. Three seasons. Holy the shit! On. Going for goal. Really hoisted forward. It looked aimless. That was a bit of an all right pass. Yeah, maybe not pretty to the uneducated eye, but uh, they certainly enjoyed it. 
He took a chance to get in there, and the ball. Yeah, if you go back to the second season, you'll see Conor Rose. Yeah. No, he couldn't. Point blank effort, but uh, you There's have got to be in the positions, haven't you, to miss them? The old saying goes true. Fifty summit rated attacking midfielder that were really short. And that was an 88 rated attacking midfielder that's still really short. <laughs> I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. And so Leeds emphasising their superiority in this match. So what games are you into tips? It was a bit rude of me there, so I do apologise. Um, that was a bit self-absorbed. And that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Look at him, he's a problem to sleep. <laughs> when we're getting your viewers to stay around, Promising build up until get them onto your channel, get boring, and then they fall asleep. But it's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. He's still actually there. The Whack! Oh, the yeah. gets blocked. Have your own player, but looks like it. Look, now see that white rectangular thing. I'll get this little white round thing into it, but not your little white rectangular thing. Neatly intercepted. No. Disappointing, I think, to the cross. Moving forward again, and Newcastle United on the move and able to cut out the pass. Well, indeed. I wish his name would Owen instead of Brian. Because then it would be, oh, dear. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted no. very quickly and decisively. <laughs> they cut the pass out there and maybe can finish it off. It's in. One moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. on the spot to score that's not the hardest goal he's ever scored but he was in the right place just widen the margin here to 2-0 oh, uh, I'll talking to somebody I think it were on here the other day about Silla. the situation Newcastle are in good defending immense club Immense fans. Well read by the defender. Amazing manager. And it's we've had an horrendous start. Not just the because they've been the playing bad, I mean the, these the teams that they had to well, start up against. Here. Might be a chance for Newcastle. It was good play until they and got that challenge in. Mike Ashley's been painted as bad guy and I can completely understand why. But as he says, well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defenders don't Man City well. are basically owned by a country. They want a player that's very good skill. They can go made by the him. Look a bit awkward there. Defended well. Well suddenly they could be on the counter. If you need a decent player now, you're talking fifty million plus. And Mike Ashley says I just can't not afford to pitch. put any of my own money into the club anymore. Clearance. I can't afford it. I can't well, he's compete not sure he's got as much time as he thought. with the teams around me financially. And I don't want to bring Newcastle down anymore by making it so they are underachieving. So he's put them up for sale. He's told them that any money they generate, they can keep and use it for squads and what have you. But he is not putting any more of his own money into it. He's looking for buyers. 
but it's also turning his back onto his club. But, well, it's not turning his back, but That's a wonderful been there from tackle. that situation before. It's not nice. Silla. Into the box it goes. Damn. Along the ground. Oh, what a moment for a guy rumoured to be playing his and you don't get last game. He's shown he's still job. if he goes out, he's gonna go out at the top. But Real Madrid if you crack this kind of stuff, but he might think again about hanging off his boots. Or in uh, and he'd be pleased with that, just knocking it off first time to the keeper's left, giving him no chance. And we restart and the, the support game. that, that club's got is amazing. It's Rain or shine there, there. This attack, and it looks dangerous. And the goalkeeper can take charge now. The referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. Two minutes of added time. That's an easy interception. The really competitive first half of this semi final, but a lead. Hard fought, well earned. Well, just about, yeah, but they're up against a, a tough, hard working team that has got goals in them. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I think we need to go on those. Two of them. Looks like Leeds are going to lose the first game. Thought they were gonna referee blows the whistle, so it's the second back. half now of this thrilling semi final. have been close to a win for weeks, yeah, though. They just don't be near, but uh, the look they needed to get that first three points. Nobody wants to make a mistake out there. Well, three points from a win. There's good progress with this attack going forward. Well, here's a chance. Goal! They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Come on, Leeds. Just a reminder, 3 1 it is now for Scorla. Alvarez. Well, he makes that transition happen quickly. Quick witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Well, he's pressed him there to running the ball out of play. Now it's Usman Dembele. Getting forward well as a team now. He's had a go here. Now it's offside. And it looks as though they might be in to score. Quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular oh, day. That EA flick. Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. It's Leeds United, and they'll be hosting Manchester City. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look I've forward to joining you in the game. Yeah, but well, it's come to my advantage, that flick. Alvarez. Silla. Well, they could pose some danger now. Thought that would have been offside. Well, for a fraction of a second, Alan, I thought he was going to keep it out. He did get a touch on the ball, the goalkeeper, but in it went. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself there. He's his own harshest critic and feels he should have done better. Played away, well away. 
dive from goal. Silla. On to the attack now. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. now and here's the shot Save. Left over the bar by the keeper I think the uh, managers decided he wants to let the player have a great individual reception which he wouldn't get at the final whistle he's uh, getting an ovation now as the substitution is made yeah and well deserved to a strong contender for man of the match Put the corner in the middle. Defended well. Kelly. They've opened them up here. Poor. It was a real opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed it. Needs to be all over him. Kelly. Silla. Well, this is a class act, this fella. Oh, he's loving it. He's enjoying every minute of this game. He's on the top of his form. Good defending. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. To finish it off. It's in. Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. Good luck, that sixth minute. Well, he's doubled up here on, with his Leeds. second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Let's see the replay now. Prospect of even more goals. Four-two is the score. Good work between these two. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Now Kelly. Gibson. Silla. Comes in with a tackle. Break quickly when they get possession. Should have been away again then. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Back ball control that. Webster <laughs> Moving
Moving forward again. And Newcastle United. Silla. Kelly. And Newcastle on the attack. Yep. In towards the near post. Tries to punch it away. He's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. A low cross into the area. The substitute coming on. It's a tactical change. Damn. Leeds lost the first game of the season. Down here as well. That's He's a put in the corner. The goalkeeper comes out with a punch. Here's a chance to attack. Get in. Unfortunately, guys, it's the end the of the broadcast as well. I hope you enjoyed the two games that I brought to you there. A couple of good wins progressed to the next round of the Emirates FA Cup. And we pulled back from what seemed like a defeat against Spurs. Looks like we're into the final of the Emirates FA Cup. Very myth that I got beat in Champions Cup. The Football Association if you did enjoy it though, guys, it'd be awesome if you could hit that follow Everton button if you haven't already. And if you do, please don't forget to turn them notifications on, then you won't miss any of my future gaming shenanigans. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, which is at Fingermajig, and like my Facebook page, which is at Fingermajig TV, you receive posts when I go live, you receive posts when I start reruns, you get regular posts containing discount codes from sponsors, you get notifications of the game clips and the past live stream playlists that are on my YouTube channel, which is forward slash Fingermajig. And there's loads of content on there, guys. 600 videos and most of it's FIFA. If you do like it, it'd be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button. Possibly even hit that like button and share. That would be extremely awesome if you could do that. As always, though, I'd like to thank you for stopping by. It really... I do really appreciate, should I say, that you take time out of your busy lives and your own hectic schedules. To come and watch my latest shenanigans. I will try and do better the next time. Next time with Leeds United, we'll start with a Premier League fixture against Manchester City. That's at home of Steve's point. And then it will finish off with a Premier League fixture, and that's against Stoke City. And that's away at the bet 365. So a couple of good games. Look forward to seeing the next Leeds United broadcast. My next broadcast, though, will be with my Chesterfield Road to Glory. That will be in an hour or so. I do look forward to seeing you there, but until then, I'm Fingy Magic, and I'll see you in a bit. Stay safe, guys.